Hi, Internet and Casey. This is Melly, 25 and 52. I'm in my car and about to drive home, and I figured I'd start talking now since the car has to warm up anyway. So, yeah, I'm gonna turn this around. Well, I certainly hope I'm in frame here. If not, I'll just re record at home. Anyway, so the last like 20 minutes have been a whole fear of me being like, oh my god, things are dumb, things are dumb in the world, I don't like them, they bother me, <laughs> what is happening? Um, so, uh, <laughs> Twitter changed their block button or block function into a mute function, um, which a lot of people are like, oh, what's the big deal? Public accounts, could you, you know, you could see them anyway, you get the RSS feed. I'm like, yeah, you can, but trolls are lazy, most of them, and if you have that little barrier at the beginning, it gets rid of a lot of harassment. But too bad, now it doesn't matter because they can still follow you. It doesn't even kick them, kick you off of their follow list if you block someone. Um, which seems like a great feature. Like, even if it let them refollow you, I imagine there's a lot of people who, if you unfollow, like, if you, if you block them and they were to, whoops, unfollow you through no fault of their own, you know, no intention of their own, it wouldn't really, they wouldn't notice, you know, and then the harassment would just go on to elsewhere or whatever. But no longer. <laughs> you just wouldn't be able to see them. They could be embarrassing you everywhere and you wouldn't be able to see it. When, isn't that nice? <laughs> so that's, that's one of the things. Um, I have extremely mixed feelings about another thing, which is that the FDA put out new um, guidelines for um, uh, growth promoting antibiotics. Um, I say guidelines because they're completely non-binding um, <laughs> and uh, it's for like a three year transition period and we'll see if anything actually changes. Um, I don't know. Um, it's aimed I think mostly, and there's a lot of like wiggle room that can happen in there. Um, I Parts of it, a lot of it's aimed at the people who sell the antibiotics to, like, veterinary, you know, pharmaceutical companies, um, because antibiotics for animals, particularly agricultural, you know, uh, it's completely, you know, the equivalent of, it's over the counter. Um, and there's two big reasons most, you know, most animals get antibiotics throughout their life, and one is because they um, make animals grow two to three percent more than the same amount of food ordinarily would, um, food and time, you know. Um, and the other is because modern agriculture ha is designed so that these animals, you know, are more likely to make each other sick because they're on top of each other all the time. Um, and it's just not designed in ways that are friendly for the animals, it's designed in ways that are friendly for profit, like all other good American industries. I have a lot of feelings about this. <laughs> anyway, um, my car's pretty much warmed up now, or at least enough to start going, so I will see you later and add more to this then. Bye! So anyway, I'm home now, um, and it's much later. I ate dinner and I worked on my applications a little bit, and I watched part of an episode of The Sing-Off, and I'm a lot calmer than I was because I spent some time listening to 99% Invisible on my drive home, and that was great. And then I got home and ate some leftovers, and that was great. And, yeah. Still upset about the things from earlier. Obviously. But, hmm. Whatever. I'm having trouble with the fact it is mid-December already. Um, I'm not sure whether to be more freaked out about how my applications are due in, oh, about three weeks, um, or the fact that I am actually not behind at them considering that time scale. Like, I don't, I keep being freaked out about the first one of these, and then I'm like, wait, no, it's okay, and then I'm like, oh my god, time, time is passing, what is happening, oh my god. <laughs> Related, I think this is week, like, 35 or something? We've been doing this for a long time. I'm proud of us for sticking to a thing. It's pretty cool. <sighs> um, <laughs> anyway.
Anyway, I hope your travels to Ohio went or are going well. I don't remember if you're going today or when you're leaving. Um, and yeah, uh, my parents are also taking their tri winter trip. Um, they are uh, running away to Las Vegas. Um, I think they're going south and then west. Anyway, um, there have been a bunch of entertaining pictures of them and the dog, um, uh, if you follow my mom on Twitter. Anyway, I will see you soon. I'm very excited. I've made myself a calendar, and it has Casey time, you know, written on it. Um, and yeah, love you. Bye-bye.